What if a series of setbacks and wrong turns actually led you to the right place? That's how Ron and Renee Keel feel. Ron is a musician, and Renee has five degrees and a long career in government and law enforcement. Both took a gamble and moved to Sioux Falls for a pair of jobs that didn't pan out, and then they faced losing even more. On tonight's Eye on Kelloland, the Keels are sharing why they're thankful it all happened while they were in South Dakota. Every household has a routine. Renee Keel and her bird, Toots, like to greet the day from their living room. Are you just posing or what? I went back out to the desert to see the open sky. The clouds keep rolling in. Meanwhile, you'll find her husband, Ron, in his home studio, trying to get into rhythm. Washing over me. There are many reasons why they love waking up in this house, with its wood walls, idyllic views, and picture-perfect memories surrounding them. But most importantly, there's one rule that makes it home. The first thing we say to each other every morning is, good morning, I love you today. Literally, before we even open our eyes, I love you today. The husband and wife's love story could actually be a song which is fitting since Ron is a musician. And as a part of that big 80s metal hard rock explosion. You may know him from his bands, Steeler and Keel, or from his work with Motley Crue and Bon Jovi. Over the years, he's racked up countless cans of hairspray and many, many miles on the road traveling around for gigs. I can't even count the countries that I've been to. I don't even know exactly where I've been. I just know I've been a lot of places for a long time. In one of those places, he met Renee who was photographing one of his bands. Now, the two headed off and got married within the year. And more than four years ago, they moved to Sioux Falls to work at Badlands Pond. Ron, as the leader of the house band and announcer on KBAD 94.5, and Renee took on the role of general manager. And Sioux Falls was uh, a place that we probably had just seen on a map or flown over until we, we put down roots here and fell in love with, with the area. They had lived everywhere from Hollywood to Nashville, but they found a life here in Sioux Falls. And I walked through the doors and I immediately felt this is home. Everything seemed to be working out for the Keels until it didn't. And all of a sudden, the business went out of business. We got our butts kicked. Losing the jobs they moved here for was a lot to unpack, but the Keels didn't pack up and leave. Good thing they didn't, because the worst was yet to come. The job wasn't the reason I was supposed to be here. The job is the carrot that needed to be dangled to get me to the zip code I needed to be in to save my life. In 2016, just 19 days before Badlands Pond closed for good, doctors diagnosed Renee with stage 2 breast cancer, and it quickly turned into stage 3. 16 weeks of chemo led to 8 surgeries, and day after day of radiation. All of that, Renee says, she could handle. She says the hard part was telling the love of her life. I simply said, I have breast cancer. That scared me, telling him and sharing that with him and how it would hurt him scared me more than anything else from then on out. It was the toughest uh, conversation we've ever had. And I'm very thankful we were in South Dakota when she was diagnosed. The couple credits Sanford doctors with saving Renee's life, but they found a different kind of medicine they weren't expecting. Support from the community in the place they call home. Strangers and neighbors and friends and people I didn't even know existed were, were donating or emailing. Do you think you would have found that and any of the other places that, you li that you've lived? Without a doubt, no. We were here for a reason. If she was going to get diagnosed with cancer, we're in the right place for that to happen. Welcome all our friends. The Keels are finding their rhythm again. Ron is still pursuing music, and you'll hear his voice on the radio. The wild, wild Midwest. Renee's health is good, and she even wrote a book about her experience. Above all else, these two are thankful they're here together. We're home, and uh, we plan on staying. That we're here for good. You're not getting rid of the keels. <laughs> After all of their journeys, literal and otherwise, take a lesson from Ron and Renee Keel. No matter where or who home is for you, don't take it for granted. 
life happens and it's important to appreciate the moment and stopping and saying I love you today just turns the focus on each other. Your glass is always half full and life is an amazing thing. You've got to treasure it and live every day like you're on a one-day contract. I could be home in South Dakota because you never know what will happen tomorrow. With Eye on Kelloland, I'm Brady Mallory. Ron has rebranded the house band into the Ron Keel Band. You can hear him on his weekly show, Streets of Rock and Roll, on Sunny Radio every Saturday night. Renee's book, Anything But Pink, on becoming a cancer survivor, is set for publishing this fall.